Way back in the day, when I first started reviewing headphones, I got excited. Oh, I'm excited. Headphones. And I found these headphones, $1,300. The price they remain to this day. These are the Fostex TH900s. Made in Japan. And then I found a video that made me so biased towards loving these headphones that I almost thought I wouldn't be able to review them properly. And I'm going to stop talking now and link either here, I know some people can link here or in the description, that video. And you're all gonna go watch it, it's like six minutes long. And it is a video just showing the process to getting these cups, these red cups, to look like these red cups. I'm tempted to just put it on the TV or my monitor and watch it with you. Because I would have bought these headphones if they sounded like Beats because of that video. The way these cups, have you seen it yet? Have you stopped and gone to check it yet? Stop, stop watching this, ready? These wooden cups that are hand painted, silver flake with platinum flake, multiple men just sanding, just gently sanding, gently sanding. These are art, art over sound. It's what you do for flagship cans. They're gorgeous. This pair hasn't been taken care of too well. It needs to be gloss. I mean, just just completely gone over. Maybe more clear coat. I, I don't know. Buff buff the hell out of this. It was bought from a guy who was bought from a guy. They don't have the standard Fostex pads. They have these fully round opening, much bigger opening pads. This system, standard Fostex. This headband. Standard Fostex and the cable would be standard Fostex like on the uh, TH500 if the <coughs> Squeak if the previous user hadn't changed it out to a 4-pin XLR So Wow, that's terrible When the guy said hey, I'll send you the TH100. He said oh But it's got this 4-pin can you test and I couldn't then I didn't have the Wah 22 at that point. But it didn't matter because for $26, I ran to Amazon and bought this adapter. It's a four pin, two quarter inch. It was, how much? 26? Done. Even if it's only for this one headphone, even if it's only for this one review, it was worth it. By the way, this, I don't know who did the cabling on it, but it's super flexible. I really do like this braid. These headphones are special in the same way that the Audis were special. Well, you put them on and it's not just like, all right, it's another headphone, another day, what's good, what's bad. You just stop. Dramatic music is playing. You just stop thinking about it. Just now, it's time to do the review. I sit down and give myself a brief 15, 20 minute refresh on the headphones because I've got to bounce around through a ton of pairs. A brief hour and a half of listening to these nonstop on solid state, solid state tube. Just every, oh, I want to hear the Aladdin sound. Oh, I want to hear what does Mumbasa from in in Inception sound like? It sounds amazing, by the way. It's a little bit of a annoying clack, but oh god. These are not closed. They look closed. Most Fostex headphones look closed. But even with the pads closed off, you could still Because right around there. There is a, a channel around this plastic, or actually it's probably metal. It's metal. Metal ring that allows air to escape. It's the same as the X-Hundreds. 
They look closed, they're not. They're semi-open. So they don't exactly block all the sound you're hearing, and they don't exactly block all the sound in the room. But they're certainly not open. That is still wood. And you put them on, and where the TX-100s, which I did love the TX-100s, sounded very close, and they shoved all that detail in your face, and the low end was whomping. Total opposite. The low end whomps. In fact, of any dynamic headphone, and dynamic I mean normal, you know, speaker that moves in and out, and not a planar, not a uh, electrostatic, of, of any dynamic, this has the best low end. The best low end. That's right, it's time to bring out the best. I've been really conscious about not saying everything's the best, so when I'm saying it now, I fucking mean it. You listen and it's almost like, oh, the bass is too much. It's not too much. The bass is correct and fast and full and controllable and wide. The sound stage on these is unthinkable for a semi-open or closed set. I mean, they're not closed, but they're, it doesn't matter. They're pretty fucking closed. <sighs> Where I said the Audis were like putting on a helmet and you were in a, a th it's a similar effect to this. I put this on and I feel like it's so much bigger than it is. I feel like everything, every instrument is in its own place over there and then the bass comes up and the bass is so good. Like, ooh, everything. Sh they actually, if you put them loud enough, and that's another thing I noticed is I started playing these really, really loud. Like beyond recommended doctor's levels of listening to headphones. Because nothing nothing hurt. Even the treble, which which I can't call the treble excited or, or, or too hot. It's just perfect. Perfect levels of treble. The imaging across and in the center and then to the back of my head and then forward. These are special headphones. If I could find a deal on these just to have that red cup, which you've all now fallen in love with because you've watched that video that I linked, didn't you? Of how this is made. And then you put them on and they to sound like they do and look like they do with that sort of craftsmanship and just the cup is amazing. Now, I've got them plugged into the dark voice here because th these are a very rare set of semi-closed, semi-open, whatever you want to call it. Headphones that actually do change. I wouldn't say benefit. I wouldn't say any of those. I don't want to call tubes out as, oh, you got to have a tube. Got to tube these. No. The change that occurs from a solid state to a tube, which is usually reserved for open headphones, you gain that sort of tweak for these. In this particular case with the dark voice, that whomping insane bass gets just a little bit looser because it's super tight. So you loosen up the bass, you lower it down a bit, and then somehow you take the sound stage that's already wide and make it just a touch wider. So it is an enjoyable experience tubing these, at least, again, on my dark voice. Some tubes don't react the same way. And then popping it across solid states between the super powerful SMSL and the not so powerful Aoun. Oh my god, just... I was listening to Inceptions Mombasa and nearly coming to tears to that song. Not to some classical piece that I heard at a funeral. To Inceptions soundtrack. Lego soundtrack. Just that low end is just... Requiem for Cuckoo Land could bring you to tears. No. I'm actually holding the drivers and I can feel the actual wood, just the impact just happening. The pads are hyper comfortable. In fact, I wonder what these pads cost. And because these are the same size as like the other Fostex. These pads might be 
a good upgrade for anyone running the X-Hundreds. They're not heavy. You think they're heavy. They're not heavy. The wood, the wood is to be, I can't judge it obviously, but whatever wood they're using is a lightweight, high density, insanely well painted. Ugh. Yeah, these are special headphones. These are special headphones. I, I'm not 100% sure of the order I've, I've put them out. If I put out the HD 800s before these, I'd take these over the 800s in a heartbeat. The $200 more currently, heartbeat. Because the 800s, I had to struggle to find, you know, they had things and the amp problems and struck. No problem. Nothing to say, don't buy these. Just velvety, flowing tunes into your brain. Now, everyone's going to make me compare to the Audis. I mean, that's really the only thing up here is the Audis are maybe the Alpha Primes. Uh, they don't compare. These, these are better than the Alpha Primes, which doesn't matter because the Alpha Primes are done. What these do with sound is just remarkable. That low end, that... that cushy amazing marshmallow low end that is so fast and tight uh, it doesn't make sense the only thing that i could say and i'll say this i don't know if spoilers or not that beats this for low end are the electrostats which are infinitely fast and infinitely bassy if you need them to be but the fact that the dynamic in a semi-closed wood environment can do it blows my fucking mind and it's obviously not a benefit of the connection because we're we're downgrading into this. Let's poke it up to the uh These reviews are sad because that means I have to give these back now. I still got a sound demo to do. Delay the hell out of that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait for it. Hateful Eight soundtrack. I don't understand how it's making it do this. There's like a whistle that's everywhere, and there's like a t -t 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 that's happening two inches to the right of the middle of my brain. And now the flutes just came in, and they're in the back of the room. I don't even understand that. Vocal clarity. Let me see. Vocal. Not exactly a test track. I should really not be sitting on this part of the chair. Here it is. I just had it. Flying teacup. Flying teapot. Cowboy Bebop. I just want to do this all day. Can I review? If I if I don't stop this review, if the review goes on for days, then I get to listen to these for days. It just softens it up. Just. There are so many. I'm going to start singing now. That's never be good in a review. Ever, ever good in a review. I don't even know what I talked about. I didn't talk about. Coming to tears with the quality. Makes the TH500RPs a little bit sadder. Damn it. Damn it. I want these bad. I want these bad. The 600s are out there. Someone send me the 600s, please. Or support me on Patreon so that I could just buy the 600s and give those a review. Which I would then keep them if I love them. But they still wouldn't be the 900s. They wouldn't have this cup. Yeah, flagships are fun. 
Flagships are fun when you actually can, like, detect holy shit out of them. Like, immediately. Not, like, put them on and then you have to start to analyze. No. Just, oh, these are obviously the best. These are the best they offer. Obviously. Yeah, if you have X-Hundreds and you're wondering if this is an upgrade, fucking A. It is... You could keep both. The X-Hundreds are very close with the Wampin' Base, and these are very way out. Just fucking beautiful with Wampin' Base. You know, Wampin' Fast Base. I have, I have no idea if this review was 6 minutes long or 16 minutes long. I'm just gushing. Let me think. What else do I got to talk about? Uh, base, excellent. Mid-range, fucking amazing. Highs, don't ever get offensive. Soundstage, way out there. Imaging, hyper accurate. Efficiency, yeah, I'd say they're pretty efficient, actually. I ran them on all three of these just fine. The own is the least powerful of the bunch. Didn't even have to get the half gain to get loud. They do sound good in a tube. On a wonky tube. I love a wonky tube. All right, well... No, no Joker voice, no vodka bottles. Just a heartfelt. It's it's the color of of the human heart. Because you love them. Because you love. Them.